think I'm live. Oh, what a strange day. Well, here we are. I've got one more day of the charity shops being open and then it all shuts down again. Lockdown 2.0 or fire break or firewall or fighting fire with God knows what. Who, who knows? So I, I do have a small haul for today. I went to two charity shops. Uh, they were all absolutely panicking because they're due to shut down. They are drowning in stock because people are still wanting desperately to drop off donations. But are they shunting the stuff out the door with um, reduced prices? No. <laughs> so they're going to be keeping this stock until they reopen, I suspect. However, I managed to get a few bits and pieces today. Um, I won't see if anyone. Oh, two people are watching but not said hello. Do say hello. I don't bite, promise. <laughs> mm. um, I, I'm in the process of listing stuff and I thought, well, I may as well do this. Oh, seven people are in. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my new witchy earrings. Oh, oh, these were the ones that Carla, bless her, sent to me with my, my special mug. Can't really see them, can you? That's pretty pointless. Let me do this because nobody needs a close up of my aerial. Hang on. Uh, little witchy balls. I wore them for Halloween. Very sweet Prezi from Carla. So I have got my um, my special mug, but I am drinking out of the huge one at the moment because I need a very big cup of tea. It's been a long morning. <laughs> I've been catching up on all the uh, shenanigans of the weekend. Oh, now I can't get it back in again. No, um, be catching up with uh, with all the amazing fundraising that that Lainey had been doing uh, because I was away and I wasn't. Oh man, I can't get that in there. I wasn't um, available, shall we say? <laughs> I wasn't uh, on on social media or anything that weekend. I had a very good weekend, but it was very magical as opposed to very sociable. Ah, oh, 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 it's coming being live. Gosh, I really have been. I can't get this back in there. What am I like? I don't want to break it either. These earrings are a little bit delicate for me. I'm a bit heavy hoofed. Oh, what's that with my ears? It's gone through. When I put them in earlier, they popped in nice and easy. I'm going to put that to one side, back in its box. Oh, that's, just, that's typical of me and earrings. I am absolutely useless. I've got one in. <laughs> And I won't take that one out for a bit. Oh, gosh, people are in. I'm so sorry. I've been really bad at saying hello. Uh, August came in all at once. So Leanne's just popped in, swapped over from Corin. So terribly sorry I missed Corin's channel there. I Hello, Corin, if you're about. <laughs> um, Bumblebee, hello. Oh, what's one in the air? Oh, I, I didn't get a notification for Corin. Mind you, I've not long got in, so maybe that's it. Oh, hello, Shelster. I should have said Princess Shelster Rooney. I haven't got much in the way of jewellery today. <laughs> just, just saying I'm not competing on that. Hello, Antoinette. Oh, Shelley's not having a... Did you plan a nana nap or a not nana nap? <laughs> oh, hello, Kelly. And hello, Lex and Thrifty Tuba. Good vibes. Yes, there were many good vibes this weekend. It was wonderful. Oh, well, Sam's in. Hello. You had popped over from cards. I, yeah. I don't know why I didn't see that. I, I, I'd been sitting uh, watching uh, Lex's auction, seeing all the lovely stuff she auctioned and how much she got for it. Hello, Karen. Again, sorry I missed your live. I've got to go back and check my notifications because I didn't get that. Um, gosh, I'm, I'm peering at things now. Louise is in the house. Hello and hello, Sue. So, A up, everyone. I found my DMs. <laughs> I'd lost them. I mean, how can you lose a pair of boots that size? But they turned up in a completely different cupboard. So I've worn them today and enjoyed them immensely. You're never too old for DMs. <laughs> well, that's my philosophy anyway. So today I went to the charity shops and got a few bits. Not as much as I was hoping. I thought I'd be filling my boots. Oh, oh, bless you. <laughs> you come over and mob handed. Hello, Susan Bearwolf. <laughs> Hello, Aid. <laughs> Hello, that girl's sewing. Gosh, every, everybody hasn't got much to do. Oh, hello, Mike. Nice to see you. Hope you're well. <laughs> Grab those bags and naps for losers. Nah. Hello, Emma. Oh, pink. Well, they are. They're, they're kind of 
they're, they look more red. They look more pink on here, and they're actually sort of a red patent ones. They were um, a find. I didn't have them from new, but I do want some darker ones because they're a bit loud. A little bit loud for me, so I might treat myself to some for Christmas. Cause why wouldn't you? So today I went to two charity shops, the same charity but in different places. And I loved your auction, by the way, Lex. <laughs> I've just been watching that back. Um, I've, I've got a linen suit for two pounds. It's a man's. It's a man's linen suit. But it's a very well made one. I mean, linen suits really just right now aren't obviously going to be top of people's shopping lists. But these are brown linen. And uh, um, another brand I haven't heard of before. I, I felt the quality first and then looked at the label. But for two pounds, one can't really go too wrong. The, um, the thing that was a giveaway that it's a good suit is the fact the cuffs actually work. Even on surprisingly high-end suits, they don't quite often. So that was kind of like, oh, this will be all right then. And the brand is, again, I'd never seen this before, so you're not going to come across it very often. Favour Brook. Favour Brook. So for two pounds, that, that's in its to the right person. And it is actually a 34 inch leg and quite a long jacket. So it's going to suit someone who's tall and slimmer. So that, that's quite encouraging. Um, could get me up to 80 pounds. Maybe it won't, but maybe it will. Hello, Lainey. Hi. Just beginning to trawl through all of the bits and pieces from your weekend. Bloody fantastic. Um, I, words fail me. You were extraordinary and your guests were wonderful and I'm watching it and it's hilarious. So I, I'm on a process of catching up. And Louise, my Halloween weekend was lovely. It was absolutely delightful. It was very magical. And I'm really glad that I met up with my friend to do some magic then because that's when we found out that we can't from here on in. So, yeah. But I was very glad, very glad that we took the opportunity. Um, the moon was full. Um, it was very misty. You couldn't actually see the whole moon. I was in a lovely witchy cottage, a very good friend of mine. And she won't mind me saying, a lady called Becky. And um, we're actually we're going to start a channel. Well, it's going to be on her channel. But we're going to start like a, a I won't use the W word, but a witchy chat. <laughs> I won't call it a waffle because... That might hurt somebody's feelings and I wouldn't want to do that. Um, but I was been talking to her about the idea of us having a bit of a, a stream and a chat. And um, and and yeah, I think I've got her up, up interested in the idea to actually do it. So she's an amazing person. I could listen to for hours. Well, I did, plainly. <laughs> hmm. Very fun witchy weekend. She's the only person I know. She's vegan, which normally would, you know, as a bit of a carnival would send me running for the hills. But that woman, what she can do with food is magic. I kid you not. Witching and bitching. Quite possibly, yes. <laughs> witchy waffle. Yes. Well, you see, I was, I was going to avoid the W word. <laughs> yes. Well, I will be telling you all about it when, when we can do it. We're going to have a sort of couple of dry runs because she's quite a long way from me out in the middle of the countryside so we're not exactly local to each other but you know I've, I've gone through the whole process I showed her in fact I, I tuned in very briefly because we have very little reception there but when we were out and about I managed to get a signal Oops. and uh, and there was uh, Lainey's uh, fundraising going on and this chat was going on it being great I think it was I think it was actually Sunday morning that I showed her it was um it was that whatever this is with Carla and Lex, that show. And she was highly entertained, thought you were both hilarious and lovely and uh, and really got the idea that actually we could do something sort of similar, but with a, a kind of witchy vein. So there we go. I'll tell you more about it when it happens. Um, <laughs> witching and bitching. That's cool, isn't it? Now, this is an eyeful and no mistake. It's very shiny. Oh, yes. Most shiny. Jeweled sleeves, and it, it's it's never been worn. It's it's brand new without its tags. Cameo Rose isn't an amazing brand, but for that style, I thought you know someone's going to enjoy that, even if they're not, even if they're Zoom partying, um, because we've all got our dresses sitting there, haven't we? The people aren't buying and haven't bought all summer. <sighs> so, I've never had so many jumpers and jackets. <laughs> winter things listed as this year i've tried to be much more strategic 
So that that's that's not going to get a huge amount of money, but as it's new and it's it's the style, I should do all right on it. Again, two pounds. Um, what were the other things I got? What did I do with? You see, this is what happens. Ah, this wasn't as good a deal as I thought. I was slightly struggling, but I love these. I love these Russian dolls. Uh, this one seemed to be signed on the bottom. It did cost me two pounds. There's actually not as many of them as there should be. And some of them have got cracks. You see, I didn't really check. I sort of spotted this as I was almost on my way out the door. And I just loved this one so much that I thought even if that one's just fine. Um, I know some go for good money. I'm not, not sure what this set will. But they look very much hand painted. But they've had a life. Obviously, some kid has got hold of these. And not only that, they lost some of the inner ones. That's got its bottom, not its top. And the tiniest one of all has only got a head. I used the correct finger there. Has only got a head. <laughs> so, bit of a fail there, but that, that's what comes of being in a bit of a hurry when you get a charity shop that hasn't got a lot in it. Um, and the only other thing, so I spent £7 altogether. Two, four, six, seven pound on these. I pick these up when I see them. It's a seven piece coaster set, uh, silver plated. They're, I think these are horrific, <laughs> sort of thing that my parents had. Whoops, which sounds really bad, doesn't it? But there you go. Oh, that sounds like a cup. I should have had, um, Susan, <laughs> resting witch face. Yeah, we do talk about our resting witch faces. There we go. They all need a good clean, actually. I think these things are quite hideous. They're very 80s, but people like them, so it was a quid. <laughs> Once the widget, ah, now I picked it up too much, haven't I? As soon as I, as soon as we can get coordinated, it, it should be soon. And we've got a bit of time now. Let's be fair. I said I would promote it. I would promote it. I'd, I'd put it out on here, and obviously it'll go out in lots of other places too. But as I've already got an up and running channel, it won't be on my channel. It won't be on Treasure Pirate because that's got very little to do with the witchy side of things. But we will be doing it. H. Samuels, yeah, exactly. And they're very eighties, aren't they? Uh, oh, I've missed. I've missed. Literally, have I missed some chat here? Here we go. Resting witch face. Yeah. My friend's cottage is amazing. I mean, it's proper witchy cottage. She's got four cats. So every time you sit down, you've got at least two vying for a lap. It's, it's brilliant. Um, yeah. I mean, every surface, every inch has got something wonderful on it. Um, yeah. It's just, just amazing. She's a very special woman. And um, I'm going to get her. Oh. By R.S. Harris, 31. Ah, do you know her name? Is it Carrie? Not sure. No, I could be wrong there, but uh, do catch up later. It'll be lovely. Babble and a cackle. <laughs> there is much cackling. Actually, Becky cackles quite well. <laughs> As just several of my friends. <laughs> uh, are you doing crafts with the kids, Jill? Yeah, oh, we're well, good for you. My, my son's at school, so and he will continue to be at school, which is quite weird, which is pot. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Rebecca. <laughs> yes, she's a Rebecca. Well, she's a Becky, really, but he is a very, very dear friend. So, uh, right, so that was what I got from one shot. So I, I spent a grand total of seven pounds and felt quite disappointed and thought, you know what, I'm going to go to the other one. Um, oh, Christ, I've got too much stuff sitting around. This I'm slightly drowning in tat at the moment. But... Hey ho, it's called stocking up, isn't it? Okay, so that was one shot. I've got other stuff I can show you, but I'll probably save those for another day because I think once we stop doing holes, it's all going to be good. Where's the other one? Here. Here it is. But what I'm doing is I'm keeping the stuff, the bag separate because then it will give me something to show you next week. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll just be boring. Right, so I've got a little bit more of this one. I think, what did I spend? £7 there and £13 there. So £20 spent today. But today was payday and I was quite happy with that because apparently last week wasn't too bad. <laughs> I was quite pleased to get my money through. Some good old 
Good old eBay. Is he? I don't know if he's happy, Josh, about still having to go to school. Um, he'd prefer it if he stayed at home and didn't have to go to school. Uh, because he has to get up stonkingly early and he has to go and catch a bus. And today was games day, which he really doesn't like. And yeah, he'd much rather be at home. Um, but I think it's quite good for good for him to be going. And while it's still safe for them to go and the school still runs, he's going to go. Um, I think it's good for him to be out in the house. But obviously, my husband will be working from home. I'll be doing what I'm doing. So not much changes. <laughs> I know. I was through Richmond and Tuesday. And I'm, I'm trying to sort of save some as well. So it's, it's getting put away. And I'm starting to see that little pot growing. So I'm very happy about that. It's not like we're spending a huge amount at the moment. We don't do Christmas in a particularly big way in this house, so it's never a massive thing. One piece of jewellery. I like this clasp on this. The clasp is actually, sorry, not showing you very clearly. It's actually that. So it's one of those flat lay chains. Gosh, that's quite bright, wasn't it? I didn't even bother looking for a name. It was a pound, so I'm like, I'm grabbing that anyway because the style is super. I'm going to have, I've got a backlog of jewellery. I'm going to be honest about this. I've got quite a backlog of jewellery. There's a little wheel on the clasp there. It's not horrific. It's still a lovely thing. Um, and I'd like to get some of it on. I've got some on, but I've got more. I need to pick out the sort of gifty stuff, things that I think people might buy for Christmas. Yeah, I can't see a name on it, which surprises me because it's quite nice. It's got it's got somewhere though. It's not it's not it's not big money. Let's put it that way. It's not going to make me a million to year. Oh, hello, Joy. <laughs> very disco. Yes, very Studio Fifty Four. Indeed. Well, you're going to change to weekly payments. I quite like hundred pound. Oh, I see. You're getting day. Do they do daily payments? I had no idea. I thought you could get paid weekly or monthly, and I wouldn't want to wait a whole month. That just annoy me. Um. But yeah, I, th I, 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 I quite like it. I quite like being paid weekly, but I can understand, you know, if, if you're waiting for things to come in or your little backlog of jewellery. <laughs> Have you really? <laughs> but you've got a big backlog of jewellery. But then to be fair, love, it's probably a good thing to have it there because when you do get sort of a bit oof, wanting to be doing something, it's kind of sitting there and it's not. You know, it's, it's easier to handle, it's easier to manage, isn't it? You can get paid daily or weekly. Okay. Oh, I, I, yeah, I think I just thought, you know what, I'll take it weekly rather than have little bits come in and have it all be very confusing. <laughs> so, yes, things will carry on in this household, even though it is lockdown 2.0. Uh, what else did I get here? Years. The rest is clothes. Oh, I had to pick this up. Again, I... <laughs> Will it sell at this time of year? I'm accepting that things that I buy, I haven't done it up, so it's not going to look very good, but it is actually a double-breasted satin collar um, men's jacket. And it's a... Oh, well, I'm assuming it is. Let me have a look. Oh, 50. That probably means it's a 40-inch chest, because that. but it's an Yves Saint Laurent which I thought was rather nice. Even the jacket on its own should do well. Um, it's a double-breasted one, which is kind of having having a moment again, isn't it, the double-breasted? It was just in such nice condition. Um, really smart, really lovely. I love these satin collars. So it's a proper, like, tux kind of jacket. Didn't have any trousers with it, but you know what? I don't think that matters too much. And when you're paying £2 for something, who's going to worry? Right, payments are odd. This is Josh, as you have loads sitting in your money to be paid section, but they only pay you small amounts. Oh, yeah. And I've had a real raft of kind of returns and and all that, you know, and I'd rather not be thinking, oh, well, the money's in and then it's out and it's on hold. It's just get a lump and that's a good thing. Yeah, I think psychologically you're seeing a, a, a wad of money going, so you think, right, rather than little bits. Oh, excuse me, didn't need this. Hmm. Hubby 
Bobby makes a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> oh no, these I picked up. Again, they don't really show anything. They just they, they look like yeah, boring black trousers. Yes, they are boring black trousers. They're not lined and they seem quite thin. But they're these. Hugo Boss. Now I know that's a red label rather than the black label one. Uh, there's different labels for them. But in fact, they're not men's at all. They're women's because they're a size 12. But they're made like the men's. Very nicely finished. Very, very fine wool. Again, they're a bit dressy, I suppose, for current climates. But if someone does have a job interview to go to, which won't happen for the next couple of weeks, but will start up again, inevitably. There's going to be more people going for job interviews than almost anything, I would imagine, the way things are going. Um, but they were just too nice not to. They're, they're kind of long tail. It's not. They're not quick flips. A lot of my stuff isn't quick flips, to be honest. Um, right, I picked these up again, slightly optimistically, because as I, got, I guess golf is also off the menu, apparently, which is fair enough, really. Um, but they are, these are Nike golf trousers, Nike. Some of these do all right, the tour performance late dry fit ones, they're a good quality. Um, they're a 40s, so they're quite a size, so it's for, for the wider golfer in your life. But again, they don't look like they've been worn. They just look like someone's had them and gotten rid of them. So they kind of feel that old, they're waterproof, but they look very smart. So you can go out, go out on the golf course looking like you're wearing a suit. Yeah, they are Nike ones, aren't they? Yeah, Nike golf. Nice little subtle swoosh on the back there. It's all very low key. So it looks like everything I've bought is black. And in fact, I bloody nearly have. Um, <laughs> very nearly. Yeah. That would annoy me. Yeah, I think with the weekly ones. Yeah, that's annoying because you think they're hanging on to your money. And I think I don't think that's a good feeling to have, is it really, that they're hanging on to your money? The usual Peruna thing, but I know polka dots are perennially. And this has a, an uneven an uneven hem, asymmetric hem, whatever you care to call it. Um, again, it's not, it's not going to fly out the door, I wouldn't have thought, but some will want it. And it's a long as well, it's a 14L. So, someone taller who wants that switching around their ankles. Again, at £2 each for everything. I wasn't really bothered. I, I've been so spoiled now by having these two pounds things that I really object to having to pay anymore. <laughs> I really, really do. Oh. Uh, here we go. Digging around. I don't normally take the time and trouble to look at the ties, but as I was there today, I did. And the first one is Lambert. So that should get reason, reasonably good money. Beautiful silk. I mean, absolutely. It's a bit of a design, isn't it? A bit florally. But that's a, a brand one, really. I know people aren't going to be falling over themselves to buy ties just right now. But they're very easy and quick to list. Uh, I bought another one, which is another brand that I quite like. These are real high-end ones. Yeah, I'm not sure I can say that either. I mean, Ermene Gildo Zegna. Zegna, I think. That's my guess, but it, this is a very classic geometric sort of job. Nice tie. They had lots of ties. I literally just filtered out the very best ones. My very favourites, of course, are Liberty. They're my favourite brand of tie, or one of them, and Dunhill. But they're not easy to find, <laughs> funnily enough. All right, what have I got here? This is the last thing I bought. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure that they, I, I mean, they seem to kind of like say that it's been processed and that you need to send the item. So I, I don't pay too much attention to it, to be honest. These weren't bad for two quid. Don't often get super dry. But these are stonkingly heavy. <laughs> very heavy. Ooh, what's that for? Um, very heavy trousers cargo trousers i think people like cargo trousers don't they um the work from home crowd like a cargo pant they were just very big and heavy they, i mean i often pick up things that are by fat face because i see those because i know fat face has a following my husband being one of the people who loves fat face but these are so heavy 
They really are. They've got pockets is everywhere. Typical bloke's clothes, isn't it? Zillions of pockets. Um, I don't know how much I'll get for them, but again, for two quid. I didn't think they were too bad. They haven't got any holes or anything. Um, and they're warm enough for winter. They're not, they're not a summer thing. So I thought I'd grab those while we were there. So that was my £13 spend, a pound each for the ties. Worth it when they're top brand, not so much worth it if they're, or, or something really funny and novelty. That can be quite good, but otherwise, nah. Um, so yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. Should be a good return on those bits. But like I say, some of the dressier stuff is not a fast turnaround. But I don't care if I've had something for six months and then it goes for 80 quid when I've only paid two pounds. I don't mind storing it for that. <laughs> Tuesdays, yeah, it's Tuesday for me as well, so maybe everyone gets paid on a Tuesday. But it makes me quite like a Tuesday. <laughs> makes me happy about Tuesdays. So, yeah, well, that, that's what I found. Um, that, that's where we're at. So I don't know if, any, if anyone wants to jump in. As I've shown my bits, I will pop that up there. In case anyone fancies coming in, if anyone wants to come on. So yeah, um, it's all it's all been very strange. I go away to a, a completely different universe for the weekend to come back to. Oh, we're gonna have lockdown. Um, yeah, lockdown 2.0. I can't say I was surprised. I thought I did say November, and it was, but I didn't think it would be that soon. I thought maybe we'd get another week out of November before they did it but I, I can un, you know I can see all the points of view about it but I guess we have to do what we did before which is to crack on keep working keep listing and know that actually if people are at home they may want to buy stuff whether it's my stuff they want to buy I don't know um, I've got a really weird eclectic mix of stuff in my shop anyway so I mean you know god knows um, there's got to be something there that they would like but that said, you know, you get some areas where I've, you know, some brands I've looked at and I thought, oh, that used to be a good brand. And there's been a real race to the bottom. So I will drop buying those things like a ton of hot potatoes. It's like, I'm not buying that anymore. Um, but I think if, you, if you've got quirky stuff, if you've got something unusual, then, you know, there, there's a good chance that it will make its money in the end. Um, yeah, no more boot fairs here. Uh, last day of the charity shops tomorrow and I'm going to do one last run to my favourite, favourite honey hole and see if I can just top up what I've got and then and then I'm going to um, go from there really it, it should be oh, who knows what I've just seen an aeroplane, that's very unusual I they won't be happening too much I was reading the weekend paper and they're saying, oh, there's all these breaks to here, there and everywhere. And then, of course, we won't be going anywhere because we're not allowed. And um, can't go to Wales and Wales can't, can't come over here and Wales comes out of lockdown, but we can't go over there. It's kind of in reverse, isn't it? It's all very strange. So you've got lots of silver and gold. Yeah, but it's nice to have those kind of as a, as a little fallback, isn't it? But I guess, I mean, I'm now, I mean, I know you scheduled a lot of stuff, Lex. Uh, I'm now scheduled up to the 22nd November, so if I'm going to put things on that are going to go, going to be for the depths winter or Christmas, they need to go on in that final week. So I, I've got so many drafts, but I've actually got to prioritise what I put up first. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got many drafts all sitting there waiting. And what I have been doing, um, I don't know if any of you, you know, when you look at your seller hub and you get had recommended and it's like every listing you've ever owned they want you to do that I'm like yeah okay but then you then I've had one come up saying add requ required soon listings in other words it's a skirt it should be in a skirt type it's something for women it should be in the woman's department they're the two major things and it's like why can't you just do that automatically why do you make us go through it all but I did go through the 630 odd listings I did them you know in in staggered bits and actually change them up to to have something in to have the right thing as near as I could get it 
in the item specifics, but I'm not worrying about the recommended stuff because I think unless it's very easy and obvious, there's no point in putting something in that doesn't really apply. And some of that, some of they've got some work to do on some of those categories. Um, I've also found that some of my drafts, yeah, the recommended ones are rubbish. The ones that I've got to do, I'll do, but like, oh, you might like to put in the character type for a blue skirt. Yes, character. Um, nope. <laughs> I should just put nope in and add that as a new characteristic. Um, yeah, that just bores the arse off me, really, and clearly has no impact. Yes, that's right. That's right, Josh. A blazer, a skirt, shoes, anything they want you to put a character in. Very odd indeed. Um, but, you know, I'm sort of soldiering on with it and hopefully I'll get a little time in the in the coming weeks to actually sort of maybe do redo a stock take again. Um, put some sales on, just just get keep things moving. I don't blame you for keeping uh, gold as a investment. I'm kind of keeping my scarf collection, my really top end of the scarf collection. I will keep that. That will basically be my retirement fund. But when you think that's probably that's not that many years away from me. Um, when I might want to access that, it's quite easy to say, okay, yeah, they're the really good scarves. And some, you know, some other very top end stuff I, I will keep and sell at a later point in time because they're not going to make more of these vintage things. So they're only going to get more valuable. Um, yeah, it's, uh, oh, you got Etsy payday on Monday and then eBay on Tuesday. So if we have something else, you get paid on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes, we want Poshmark over here. Could we say it any more loudly? We want Poshmark over here because we're getting bored with eBay. <laughs> um, I wish they'd sort themselves out. The other thing that's happened to me, actually, and I don't know if it's happened to anyone else on here, is when I've got drafts, sometimes I'll go in to make the draft live and it will tell me it's got a problem. Like something has gone really, really badly wrong with the, um, with the draft and it's... It's fucked it up somehow, really, basically. Lost it down a rabbit hole. And so I'm thinking, well, do I do it again? Um, so I'm making a little list, and there's a few of them because I've got a lot of drafts. And it does do that, or it suddenly loses a load of the pictures. Ah, you've had that, and you've reported it to eBay. I do need to talk to eBay, by the way. They um, they took money back from me for a little, a little ring. It wasn't a valuable one, something cheap. That went to the States. Well, it obviously went through GSP because it had a tracking number, but then it didn't get to its destination. So they've they've taken the money off me. But what I'm doing is I'm obviously saving up all of these things so that I can ring eBay and just do it the once rather than keep doing separate things. And I'm, I'm not overly bothered because it wasn't a lot of money, but it's annoying and it's the principle of the thing. So I, I will have to ring them up and have a chat. Um, they're investigating, yes. Well, it, it peeves me off when I've gone to all the trouble of doing it and then half the photos aren't there. Luckily, I still have them on my phone. I can kind of go back and load them on again, but it, it's annoying, especially if it's something from a while back because I have a lot of stuff. Oh, right. Yeah, it's been doing funny things like giving me two to you know a double copy of the same thing as well which is very dangerous in um, ebay land to have a duplicate of something because it doesn't know it's there um i go in find that the photos have, are all corrupted somehow um or, or or it's just doing something where it, where it actually just kind of freezes and doesn't seem to be able to get into the draft and it and it upsets it hugely so yeah um Ah, I see. You're doing you're doing ceramics. Yeah, I've got some ceramics, um, not very many. I, I I'm trying to cut down them because they take up a lot of space, and um, and they're a bucket of pack. Although I do like glass and ceramics. Um, I'm you know I just they're not my core business. They're they're more of a hobby I would say. Um, ah, Leanne, you had a draft you couldn't use today. Yeah. You have 50 templates. Yeah, you see, I, um, templates or drafts? Yeah, I just do drafts. I don't even do templates because I just do sell similar or something like that. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think currently, let's see how many drafts have I got. 
How many drafts do I have? This will be interesting. Uh, create your listing, manage active listings, manage drafts. Here we go. Let's see. I did the app. Oh, yeah. Well, I've put a couple of new ones on. Yeah, I have got quite a few drafts there. Um, 315. <laughs> so it's kind of like my backlog. It's um, It just means that I can just shunt them on. So if I can't get stuck for some reason, there's always something to keep to keep feeding the beast <laughs> but that's a bit excessive isn't it really um two two bags of vintage jaj pyrex what's jaj i'm not very good on pyrex i just think oh i like the design um but that's nice yeah jaj pyrex mm. is that is that like the older ones sort of very 50s mid-century modern design one thing i didn't pick up today it was an enormous kind of west germany vase it wasn't a it wasn't gorgeous as in the design but it was a west germany but i thought there's no way with a bloody town i'm not lugging that around <laughs> yeah you can have a thousand drafts yeah 90 days exactly so i i go into my older ones and refresh them and yeah to keep them on there but i you get a pro they seem to they have problems before 90 days this is this is my beef i know there's three months on them um but i wish yeah i do wish you could keep them for as long as you wanted i don't see why it only lasts for 90 days because i will do that sometimes do a draft get sidetracked and see oh i'll come back and do all those and then and then i've lost them oh okay that's in useful information josh yeah if all pirates was made in the uk it was called joj so I call it vintage JJ Pyrex. Excellent. A floral chamber pot. <laughs> mm, nice. So, right. Well, I've waffled on you for some quite, <laughs> yes, some quite considerable time. I've been waffling, haven't I? Yes. Stern words with yourself. Well, I have stern words with myself all the time. It's like, don't bring back anything that's huge, mohusive, or going to be a bucket of post. But I don't always listen to myself. And then I have to stage a kind of intervention, which is do stop buying breakables. Because I've been fairly fortunate with breakables so far, in spite of the fact that I use the glory that is my Hermes. They're actually OK. And I'm, I, I package well, but I wouldn't say I was nuts about the package. Um, but yes, planter is always a good thing, because, of course, indoor plants are the thing for those people who can keep them alive. I sadly, apart from cactus, um, I'm not one of those people that can keep plants alive. We don't have deep enough windowsills or, because we're in a Victorian house. The windowsill is all about that wide. <laughs> so it's, nothing can go on them apart from the one in the kitchen where, where my cacti live, because that's a sunny place. <laughs> oh. oh, gosh, excuse me. It's been a long day. I went to brave my weekly shop this morning, fully expecting it to be a bit like all out war. And the actual fact it wasn't. <laughs> well, you can have all of the breakables. <laughs> Most of them are behind me. Some of those aren't actually listed or have dropped off. So I've got to do a proper stop take because I think people might want to gift vintage items. <laughs> to stop yourself. Yeah. It's, and, and I know I know I'm when you were talking about the, the little things that end up on your desk. Yes, the little things that end, little pots and things. You think, oh, I might list that. And think, oh, but it's so cute, a nice little cauldron. It'll just do to pop some earrings in. And then you end up with a wash with clutter. Very much the problem I have here. So it always makes me giggle when you say, <laughs> you say you, you want, you'd, love, you'd love to be minimalist and live in a tiny house. However, you're in a sea of, yeah, the same sort of sea that I'm in. Tad. So there we go. We all aspire to some things, don't we? So I'm going to love you and leave you. I will, um, yeah, stock up. Yeah, I would say if you want to get to your charity shops, go tomorrow. Um, but happy hunting. And I, I, I will try and save some things and some content, if you like, some something to keep people amused for, for a while this is on. And um, just keep, keep your chin up. <laughs> keep going. Um, and um, and yes, fingers crossed and, and everything, sending healing vibes for, for Lex for Thursday. Um, hope it all goes incredibly well and we'll all be thinking of you. So, tutty bye for now. I'm going to step out now 
and say bye. I'm going to see if I can do this properly and end the broadcast. <laughs> Here we go. Awkward wave.